This is the Happy Model Mobula 6. And when I previously reviewed the Mobula 6 on my channel, I reviewed the 19,000 kV version. And I said that probably the 25,000 kV version was just going to be a battery killer and way too powerful for tight indoor environments and everybody should probably just get the 19,000 kV version. And one of the test pilots for the Mobula 6 took issue with that and said, let me, we, let, let's send you a 25,000 kV version and see what you think of it. So that's what we're going to be doing today. But there's more. Because Project Mockingbird, you know them, the guys who make really, really awesome microtunes? Project Mockingbird has a tune out for the Mobula 6. And it doesn't run on Betaflight, it runs on Emu Flight. Emu Flight has been adding some micro specific features. So we're going to look at the 25,000 kV Mobula 6. We're going to race it around my house. We're going to put Emu Flight on it, and we're going to see what that does. We're going to put Project Mockingbird on it. Ah! I'm Joshua Barba, and you're going to learn something today. The first thing we're going to do is I'm just going to take a couple laps around. I haven't even like figured out the race course much, but I just want to figure out whether the throttle on this guy is going to be so insane that I have to dial it back to fly in this relatively tightish environment. So let's see how we do. And I am going to go to angle mode. I prefer to fly in angle mode indoors. I'm not even going to try to hit the gates first. I'm just going to get a sense of the, the throttle response. I'm at 33%. It's fast as hell. I think I probably will get used to it, but I don't see myself going to full throttle in this environment anytime soon. So I think I am going to dial down the throttle a little bit. Now I've got a uh, my throttle set up so that by putting this switch in the middle position, it activates my throttle limit, and then by turning, yeah, by turning this knob, I can bring the throttle down. I think I'm gonna bring it down to about 65%. Um, I've got a video about how to set that up, and I'll link it in the video description. If you go to that video, read the first comment, because the video actually leaves out one step, and the correction is in the first comment. Sorry. Yeah, that feels about right. Oh, wow, it is fast as hell. I certainly noticed when I was racing these, both the Mobula and the Meteor, that they respond to like hitting objects really well there. They don't fall out of the air. It's so fast. It just picks up speed so much. It feels like it's flying pretty good. Uh, I often tweak the level strength in Betaflight um, to give sharper stick feel uh, when flying in angle mode. But this guy, maybe it's the higher KV motors just giving it more oomph. It, it's cornering really good. It has great stick feel. I'm not sure I would really change anything about it. Let's see if we can actually put some laps in without like just dying. There we go. That was close. Definitely a thing that is bugging me is that whenever you hit something, it just flips out. I wonder if that's something that he knew was going to fix. There we go. Now we're starting to get it. Whew. Yeah, baby. Now we're starting to get it. Felt the battery sag there for a second. Oh, that was such a good entry. When I reviewed the Mobula 6 and the Meteor 65, I said I thought that the 19,000 kV version was better for most people. And the reason I said that was, 
On the Meteor 65 22,000 kV motors, I got like 2 minutes, 2 minutes 15 seconds of flight time before it fell out of the air. On this guy, I'm getting 3 minutes. Now, these are better batteries. That's true. These are Nitro Nectar uh, 300 milliamp hour Nubi Drone Nitro Nectar batteries. The Beta FPV batteries I was flying on the Meteor are not known for being great. So, I, I guess I have to concede the point that with good batteries, even the 25,000 kV motors on the Mobula 6 are, I mean, three minutes is kind of the minimum you would want for even fun flying or racing. But I was getting four to five minutes on the 19,000 kV, and it certainly didn't feel slow, especially in a race course like this, where you're hardly ever getting above about two thirds throttle. The 19,000 kV, I think, makes a lot more sense. But here's what we're gonna do now. There's a way to get 15, 20%, maybe more flight time out of this guy, just by flashing different firmware to the ESCs. There's a firmware out there called JESC, and there's another firmware made by a guy, goes by Jazz Maverick, and they enable a thing called 48 kilohertz PWM frequency, and the bottom line is you flash the ESC to a different firmware, you get longer flights. If you wanna know how to do that, and if you have a 65, 75 millimeter quad, you definitely should be doing this. Doesn't cost any money, just flash the ESC, boom, longer flight time. I got a link in the video description. You're sitting there barking at me. Hi, 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 yes, you're a sweetheart, but you, go, you gotta shut the hell up. You gotta shut the hell up. You figured out just how loud to bark. It's an, oh, yes, 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 hi. Oh, hi, Chopper, oh, hi, Chopper. Oh, yes, God forbid, someone should get me love without you interrupting. Hi, Mamba, hi, Mamba. Yes. 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 Hi. Hi, little buddy. Oh. Are you going to eat my quadcopter? I hope not. Hello. Alright. You guys stink. You guys stink. Get out of here. Ugh. In case you're not familiar with Project Mockingbird, it is the brainchild of a guy named Patrick Clark. I'm sure he has test pilots who help him out. I don't mean to give all the credit to just one guy, but he just has this incredible passion for tuning micro quads, and he's damn good at it. And he's been publishing these quadcopter tunes for all the popular quads for years now. Has it been years? Wow. Unfortunately, searching for Project Mockingbird brings you a whole lot of information about a CIA project from the 60s, so it's pretty tough to find this stuff. There's a link to his Facebook group down in the video description, and also they recently put up a website where you can get this stuff. But the tune for the Mobula 6 and Emu Flight is still in beta, so right now it's just been posted on that group and you can test it out. By the time you're viewing this video, it may be out of beta, but again, link in the video description. The first thing we need to do is download Emu Flight version 0215 or newer, and they have a direct link to this binary here on the Facebook page. Here is the config diff, and I guess I'm just gonna, can I just select all? No, I'm just gonna download it. Download, open, select all, and copy. And click here in the text box, right click and paste and enter. Now although we've got a config dump pre-made for us, there are a few things that I'm going to need to tweak in order to get this working with my transmitter. We're going to need to check the channel map and the arming switch modes and so forth, the same way you do when you set up any new device. So I'm going to take care of that off camera and then we'll come back. And I'll be really curious to see if it still flips out when I bump things. Number one thing, Oh, the rates are very different. Y'all rate is different. I'm just gonna take a couple passes around here. Um, Patrick Clark says that it may be too twitchy for some, but... Uh, interesting. It did not flip out there. I think the y'all rate, I'm, it's gonna take me a second to adjust to the y'all rate. Oh, wow. This is going to take... Oh, that's better. That was better. It recovers better from the smacks, that's for sure. 
Now my dog is going to try and chase it around. He is not happy about this. Oh yeah, oh yeah. Oh, this is, this is good. Oh, I gotta get that. I gotta get that. It's only my first pack, though. It's only my first pack. I gotta not... I gotta not swing wide there. Oh, it's done. 3.0. It's done. Whew! Hey, Mamba. Oh, hey, Mamba. Is that freaking you out? Do you want to go outside? Okay, here we go. No, no. Whew. Whew. Okay, there's just there's just no question that's better. That's really something. You know what? I'm gonna freaking put it up to full throttle. Aha! 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 <laughs> That's aha! The throttle limit, it's more controllable now and I'm going faster and so I want that extra, that extra, come on, oh! I want that extra throttle. Wow, this is without the throttle limit now. Gotta stop overshooting that. 3.1. Okay. Let's put another pack in. Woo! Ah, uh, flipping. Okay, whatever. See, look how, look how I'm able to recover from those. Whereas on Beta Flight, I was just getting stuck up against the wall. Now think about if you were racing. On beta flight, you slap the gate and you're trapped. You have to disarm, you have to drop. On this one, you just keep going. It's really, oh, oh, see? I mean, better if you didn't slap something, but... Dang, 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 dang. What's the conclusion? Patrick Clark is a hell of a tuner. That's the beginning of the conclusion. This fly is really freaking good. <laughs> this fly is really freaking good. Um, I'm super excited to see Emu Flight. One of the, one of the things I like most about um, smaller projects, and let's face it, Beta Flight is a huge project with lots and lots of contributors, a big entrenched culture, not very quick to move in, a, in, in some directions. One of the things that's most exciting to me about smaller projects like Emu Flight is that they can do certain things that just are not quick to do on these bigger projects. And I'm very, very excited to see Project Mockingbird and Emu Flight working together to make whole new features that were not available before to, to Beta Flight users, to Silverware users, sure. To Beta Flight users, this is really, really exciting. If you fly a Mobula 6, by all means, try this out. 
it's still in beta and still has some refinement to do, but it's I, I'm I'm pretty impressed with it. Um, and if you fly any micro, check out Project Mockingbird and look for check out Project Mockingbird and look for all the tunes for he's got tons of tunes for various other micros, Tiny Hawk, etc., etc., etc. And there's a bunch of them. That is gonna do it for this video. Thank you guys so much for sticking around. I've really enjoyed flying for you. Um, I hope you've enjoyed coming along for the ride. Links to everything I've talked about down in the video description. That's going to do it. i got to clean up my house and let my dogs back in the house because they're tired of being outside. <laughs> Happy flying, everybody.